says, I want to let go. It's been 40 years. what procrastination looks like. There are any number of things I, I should be doing, <clears throat> or could be doing, <laughs> but instead I'm getting upside down in the alley to work on this backing plate over here. See if I can get it out. Oh my god, it came right out. <laughs> wow. The reason for that backing plate was a stanchion base, which is no longer there. It was right here. And the holes, as you can see, the holes have not been filled, unlike these, which I filled yesterday. Oh, it's so satisfying. They set up so nice. All those holes in the deck are no longer to be dripping in the galley, which is really nice because there's all this storage back here, which has been unused. This is also important because I have this side going to be dry now so that I can do this side, which is where all my stuff is. <laughs> I'm going to have to move it all over to the other side. And take this shelf out because those screws are way back behind in there and all this cabinetry needs to come out. Other upcoming projects include cleaning up this vise so that I can use it because I've needed it on a couple of occasions. But I'm really super excited about it because Jesse made that little mounting for it so it actually has a place to be on the boat which is so cool. And this morning I pulled this piece of tow rail off, cleaned, sanded, and I'm ready to fill these holes, but they go all the way through into the cockpit locker, so I've got to get in there and put the tape on, otherwise the little stuff will just drip all down. These are those two that are in the galley that I was just pulling the backing plate off, so they're ready to be filled. I still need to work on these. These bad places need to be ground out back to the good stuff so they can be filled. But I've been slowly working on these holes. And this is another thing I finished yesterday. Really excited about this big hole in the deck, which is no longer. And John helped me, coach me on how to fix it. And Jesse cut me a plug to fit. So there's a wooden plug under here and it's filled with thickened epoxy and epoxy on top. And I'm pretty pleased with that. Mr. Pelican's been up here pooing on my bowsprit. Um, I've got to try to get it off. I'm not sure how that's going to happen. But this is a happy sight. I love coconut. And they are the definition of a tough nut to crack. But if you drill <laughs> and a clean one, you can just drill two holes and the water comes out. It's great. <laughs> That's it. It's closed. Now, if I had a machete, I could get it all the way open and there's like jelly coconut in there, but I don't really care for it. And But the coconut water, oh, it's so good. a thing to do in between doing other things like 
trying to get the bowsprit off. Jesse gave me some new tools. So I'm gonna have it go. But in the meantime, I'm gonna cut this line and I do not want it to fray because that's poor seamanship A and B, it wastes line. The line is expensive, so and precious. So I'm whipping it. Which is not difficult, doesn't take long. A good thing to do. You want the whip to be about one and a half times as long as the diameter of your line. And it looks like I got it just up right with the amount of whipping twine. I got the whipping twine and clearance defender. I have plenty of whipping. There we go. And you just put that through the loop. end. Like it. I wanted to go about halfway right there. Trim the ends and you're done. Well, I'm out here having a go at this bass brit. I got some new tools to try and get this bass brit off. I don't know. I just don't know. <laughs> to pull this one out because it'll flop back down and I'll never get it back out of there again. I guess that's silly. No, it did flop back down. Look at that. Ah, oh, little bugger. I don't know if you can see, but there's definitely a gap there. The bowsprit is moving up. It is moving. It will come off. I devised this ingenious plan of using wedges to hold it up. close to coming off. It's not coming off tonight. I'm too tired. But man, it's really close. I can get my whole finger under there. Yeah. Coming off, baby. But not tonight. I'm too tired. How super duper coolio is this about with a vice? <laughs> Oh, cool. Cool. <laughs> oh, that's terribly satisfying. <laughs> the cool thing about this voice is oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, 
cool is that? <laughs> oh, my son. Hey, 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 look what I got. <laughs> it sees what I see. I have my hands free. <laughs> it's windy today, and I'm trying really hard not to freak out uh, about the mast when it really blows and the, the boat shakes and the mast is the halyards banging. But I went out to look at the rig and spray blaster on all the fittings and I was up there by the bowsprit and it looks like it's just gonna come off. So I'm gonna go see if I can just pull it off. So I noticed this this is just loose. That's what, oh and I'm just lifting with my hands and Oh, <laughs> I can't believe it just...